teaching kids the consequences of lying through his book, Jack the Tripper, or introducing them to legendary inventors like Benjamin Franklin in Now and Ben, or in his newest book, Neo Leo, The Ageless Ideas of Leonardo da Vinci. Jean Beretta has certainly captured the imagination of kids all across the country, and we're very lucky to have him with us here on Connecticut Style today. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank we you really very appreciate much. it. We were talking at the beginning of the show how you have been interested in illustrating as long as you can remember, really. That's why I have such ghosty white skin, <laughs> because I never go outside. See, when all the kids were outside on the beach playing. You'd be inside drawing. Most Always been a passion for you. Yeah. So it was never really a question in terms of what you wanted to do as a career. There was a period where I actually went to film school and I worked in that industry for a while and then made a full circle back around to this and took all of those lessons from the film world into what I do as an illustrator and a writer. You've illustrated close to 30 books, but the way that you do your work has certainly changed over the years. It's not just you and the paper and a pen or a Sharpie or pencil anymore. Right. Well, I've, I've started to do a lot of my sketches on, um, I, don't, I, I won't mention the, the product name, but it's an electronic tablet. Um, like a monitor. Right. And it looks just like a monitor, only it's the type that, uh, it's a newer one. There used to be an older version where you would have to draw on an electronic tablet and look up at the monitor. Mm -hmm. But this you draw right on it, just like you would a pad. And I do all my sketches that way, and it has the same sensitivity and results as a pad of paper. And then I just print everything onto the watercolor paper, and then I work traditionally with was the watercolor. Was it hard to, to make that transition, or? No, not immediately. I had played with some of the earlier versions, and so it was, fortunately, it was a nice transition. Yeah. You've worked with a number of authors, but the mm -hmm. books that you've worked on, that you've written yourself, <clears throat> have really taken off. So that's got to be a great feeling. It is. I, I, now and Ben, uh, The Modern Inventions of Benjamin Franklin, was, was my first as an author, and purely by coincidence it came out on his 300th anniversary so it got the attention we wanted and it just uh, has been a, a, a great success for me and it really made people you know take a look at my work uh, from that point on. So Now and Ben was your first in the Inventor series mm -hmm. and your fourth book, it's a little confusing, but it's your fourth book which is Neo Leo, right. which is the most recent one that you've come out with, is right. the second in the Inventor series. So give folks at home a little background of what the series is about. Well, uh, they both follow a similar theme. Benjamin Franklin and Leonardo da Vinci mm -hmm. both invented things that are still part of our world and, and shaped our world uh, like we know today. Benjamin Franklin was able to build a lot of his inventions during his lifetime and we still see them very close to the way he designed them plus sort of a more contemporary cousin of theirs. Leonardo da Vinci on the other hand built very little during his lifetime. So many things just stayed in his notes until after he was gone and mm -hmm. People like the Wright brothers were designing in planes and having the first flight 400 years after the fact, but we can see now through his notes that he was thinking about it long before that. And that's pretty much evidenced in a lot of our modern inventions. He was, he was way ahead of his time in how he designed and how he dreamed about the future. So what inspired you to focus on this for children's books? Well, Franklin and Leonardo both happened to be childhood idols. So as I, when I started to think about what I wanted to write for my first books as a writer, those were sort of a natural place to focus and pay tribute to them finally. And your next book as a writer, will there be more in the Inventor series or what are you thinking about? There will be. I've done, I, I've done some grammar books in between and, uh, and now my next one will also deal with inventing. Uh, which won't deal with a specific inventor, but more of a series of inventions that follow a theme. And then I will go back to an individual one. It's, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot to harvest in that, that world of inventors who really have made an impact on Yeah, a, on it's a, a, wide, a wide spectrum. And yeah. aside from the books, you have worked on some highly successful children's programs. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Sesame Street, have you heard of it? Never. I've never heard of that before. It's Tell us about it. It's a small little public <laughs> television show. And I did five animated shorts for that show um, a couple years back. And I worked with a show called Between, Between the Lions, Lions and mm -hmm. done some books for them and some behind the scenes illustration work. And I've done some, some character design for the Jim Henson Company uh, after, after I'd worked on Sesame Street. So everything I do really s remains uh, focused in the children's industry. But and lots of different maybe some younger folks watching who have this similar passion and they're just fine-tuning their skills now what advice do you have from them because you've really made it happen for yourself in your career well yes and it took a while they have to realize that it's not 
especially anything in the arts, you know, it's, it's an uphill battle. Uh, there's so many other people who want to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And so much comes down to timing and um, having a style that might be appropriate for a certain project that a publisher is doing at the moment. So uh, I think just as important as the talent is the, the perseverance and the building up a little bit of a tough skin and being able to take criticism along the way and collaborate. And it's true. It's important. And you're a really good teacher. Can we take a look <laughs> at the finished product here? Can you see that? Wait, which one are you shooting? Okay, that's Jean's and that is mine. And that is the character from Neo Leo. That is Leonardo da Vinci, although yours looks far more regal. Mine kind of looks like a lumberjack, I have to Mine say. Mine has a little bit of a slant to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it yours, was, they look like brothers, don't they? They do. They, they do look like brothers. Yours is the more handsome brother, but that's okay. <laughs> Your website is jeanberetta.com. Right. Thank you so much for coming in. It was great Thank to talk you. to you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Continued I success in your career. Thank you. And don't go away. We're in the kitchen.